get to know your basic functions. There are two that you're going to use more than any other. Okay. f of x equals x squared, or y equals x squared, looks like this. Almost like a u, except that the arms go out to the left and right forever. This part of the graph is called the end behavior. This graph looks like this on the ends. Now, let's look at y equals negative x squared, or f of x equals negative x squared. looks like this. It's a tipped down, or a reflected, if you recall, a reflected parabola. This is the end behavior of y equals negative x squared. So you need to memorize those. The end behaviors of negative x squared and positive, well, and y equals positive x squared. Okay, because it ends up that all even functions, that is, all functions that have x being uh, uh, x to an even power will have the same end behavior. Going up on the ends, if the highest power is an even number and the first term is positive, or going down forever, if uh, the highest power is an even number and uh, the, fir the leading term is negative. This will help you a lot because then you can know for sure what a function, what the graph of a function is doing beyond where you can see it. All right, now let's look at odd functions like y equals x to the third. y equals x to the third looks like that. Here's its end behavior. It goes down on the left and up on the right. All functions that have the highest power and odd power and the leading term positive will look like this way out on the ends. Now suppose you have an odd function that has a negative sign in front of the leading term. Then what you have is the graph of y equals x to the third power but reflected. There. And this is the end power. This and that. Now, it could be so much more complicated than this, okay? But there are only two basic kinds of end behavior, actually four basic kinds of end behavior. The same end behavior as y equals x to the third and y equals negative x to the third and y equals x squared and y equals negative x squared. We can see this in the next problem. All you're being asked to do in this problem is predict the end behavior. That's it. You don't have to do anything else and you don't even have to bother to graph it. Notice the negative sign. Notice first that this is your highest power term and the highest power term is a 6 which is an even number. And notice the negative sign in front. That means the end behavior of this function 
regardless of what it looks like, the end behavior of this function will be exactly the same as the end behavior of y equals negative x squared. So this is y equals negative x squared. And this is the end behavior of this is going to, well, let me get an eraser here. I think that's an eraser. There. We have just graphed the end behavior. Get rid of that y, x squared. All right, this is the end behavior of p of x equals negative, whoop, whoop, oh dear, negative pi x to the sixth. Okay, let's move on. Do I have anything over here? No, but I know, I think I know I have something hiding down here. Ah! Look up here. Here we have p of x equals negative square root of 2 x to the third plus 5x squared, oops, plus 5x squared minus 2x plus 5. All we're being asked is to find the end behavior. The end behavior of this will be exactly the same as the end behavior of y equals negative x to the third. There. Now, take your eraser and erase the middle, and now you have a graph of the end behavior of p of x equals negative the square root x to the third plus so on and so forth. Ah, and here we have a problem that's going to have exactly the same end behavior as negative the square root of 2 times x to the third. Well, up here, same basic idea. Your end behavior is going to be the same as y equals negative x to the third with the middle erased because your function, this function, will be doing something else probably. What it does in here is specific to the graph, but what it does on the ends, that's what we're being asked about right now. Way out at the ends, this is going to go up forever on the left and down forever on the right. Okay. Now, let's look at this. p of x equals pi uh, x to the seventh minus x to the fifth minus 5x plus 2. The 2 there. Well, how can I do this without a calculator? Well, easy, simple. This is x to the seventh, which makes it an odd, well, it's not really an odd function, but it has an odd highest power. And this is positive pi. So this is going to have the same behavior as y equals x to the third power with the middle erased because it'll be doing other stuff in the middle. Now here we have p of x equals 2.74x to the fourth minus 3x to the third plus 5x plus 2. This is all that's important when we're looking at end behavior. x to the fourth is going to have the same end behavior as x squared. And this is a positive number in front, so we'll basically graph y equals x squared and then erase the middle, and you have a graph of the end behavior of this function right here. So, I will...
talk to you later.